Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the 10 plane crashes that changed aviation forever. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at devastating and eye-opening aerial accidents that brought about much-needed change in how we operate aircraft. Number 10. 1956 Grand Canyon Mid-Air Collision the Grand Canyon is usually such an awe-inspiring sight, but on June 30th, 1956, it was the site of the most fatal commercial airline flight in the U.S. up until that point. On this fateful day, a United Airlines Douglas DC-7 and a Transworld Airlines Lockheed L1049 departed from Los Angeles. One was bound for Chicago and the other for Kansas City but neither made it to their respective destinations. Both flights collided over Grand Canyon National Park, resulting in the deaths of all 128 people on board. The tragedy led to several overdue changes in air traffic control, including hiring more personnel and highlighting the need for radar. Most notably, the Federal Aviation Agency was created in 1958, helping to prevent future collisions. Number nine. Delta Airlines Flight 191 Flying through a storm is always distressing, but Delta Flight 191 was a worst-case scenario. On August 2, 1985, a L1011 closing in on Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport crossed paths with a microburst. I knew something was wrong when the rain started coming, said Jay Slusher, one of the survivors. I felt something on top of the plane pushing the plane down. The pilots lost control of the aircraft, which missed the runway by more than a mile. The plane crushed a car before hitting two airport water tanks, causing 137 fatalities with 27 survivors. This inspired a lengthy investigation, leading to the installation of wind shear detectors, while pilots received more training on how to deal with microbursts. Number 8. Aero Mexico Flight 498 Although the Federal Aviation Act of 1958 brought about a decline of mid-air collisions, a privately owned aircraft presented another serious issue in late August of 1986. The Kramer family's Piper Archer aircraft accidentally collided with Aero Mexico Flight 498 over LA. The pilots supposedly didn't see each other's aircraft coming, and LAX lacked the warning systems that could have prevented the ensuing collision. There were no survivors on either plane, and the crash left the suburbs below devastated. Investigations show that the Piper didn't have proper clearance or a transponder to keep track of its altitude. The FAA thus took measures to add traffic collision avoidance systems to commercial jets. Mode C transponders also became mandatory for altitude safety. Number 7. Turkish Airlines Flight 981 Considered history's worst plane crash at the time, a McDonnell Douglas DC-10 went down in Ermenonville Forest. Costing more than 300 lives, this 1974 tragedy was traced to a rear cargo door that hadn't been properly secured. Since the door was designed to open outwards, there was always a risk that it might get pulled off at high altitudes if the latch system failed. When the door tore, it triggered an explosive decompression, making it impossible to maintain control of the elevator's rudder or engine number two. The latching and locking systems were subsequently given overhauls to keep doors more secure. The FAA also required planes with outward-leaning doors to have vents cut into cabin doors, helping air pressure to equalize under these circumstances. Number 6. American Airlines Flight 587 This crash occurred on November 12, 2001, two months after another infamous aircraft-related disaster. Some initially theorized that there might have been a common link, but Flight 587 was ultimately deemed an unrelated accident. When a Japan Airlines Boeing 747-400 took off shortly beforehand, Flight 587 was faced with wake turbulence. The first officer reacted by aggressively operating the rudder controls, unintentionally causing the vertical stabilizer to snap and the Airbus A300 to crash in Bell Harbor. With no survivors aboard and five fatalities below, the crash motivated American Airlines and the FAA 
FAA to revise pilot training. In 2006, Mark Rosenker of the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board noted that pilots were making progress, but he still felt the rudder system's design could be improved. Number 5. ValueJet Airlines Flight 592 in-flight fires had been a problem for a while, and ValueJet Airlines Flight 592 finally sparked some changes after 1996. Unfortunately, more than 100 souls were lost in the process. A McDonnell Douglas DC-9 was about 10 minutes into flying when it crashed into the Everglades. Maintenance contractor Sabertech improperly and illegally packaged hazardous materials, starting the fire that led to this catastrophic loss. Under the FAA's rule, smoke detection and fire extinguishment systems became mainstay of Class D cargo compartments. This was the beginning of the end for ValueJet Airlines, which had faced various safety issues in the past. After being grounded for three months, ValueJet struggled to restore its reputation. It soon merged into AirTran Airways, which Southwest Airlines eventually acquired. Number 4. Swiss Air Flight 111 Only two years after the ValueJet Airlines Flight 592 incident, tragedy struck Swiss Air Flight 111 when the crew sensed smoke from the cockpit. The pilots were unable to land safely before the fire started to spread, causing the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 to crash in the Atlantic Ocean with no survivors. The in-flight entertainment system and faulty wiring were linked to the fire, but the insulation blankets proved to be the flight ultimate downfall. Covered in metallized mylar, the flammable blankets caused the fire to break out so quickly. Almost 700 aircraft would swap out their insulation blankets in response. This was also a massive blow for Swiss Air, which would go bankrupt only four years later. Number 3. Air France Flight 447 Air France Flight 447 also met its end in the Atlantic Ocean. Although wreckage started to surface shortly after, it'd take two years to recover the flight records. As such, the investigation behind this crash was a drawn-out process. Ultimately, experts deduced that the speed sensors, or pitot tubes, likely froze. The inconsistent airspeed readings led to the autopilot disconnecting. The pilot struggled without his technological support, amounting to the flight's disastrous end. If this incident demonstrated anything, it's that pilots might have become too reliant on automation. While computers are still a major facet of aviation, this crash would strengthen efforts to increase manual flying in pilot training. Number 2. TWA Flight 800 Twelve minutes after departing from JFK Airport on July 17, 1996, a Boeing 747 exploded over the Atlantic Ocean on its way to Europe. It remains one of the deadliest U.S. aircraft accidents ever. It's widely believed that this massive explosion started with a simple short circuit. This likely led to the fuel tank exploding and the plane breaking up in flight. Measures would be taken to prevent fuel tanks from blowing up in the future, namely, the FAA and Boeing put more stock in inerting systems, which limits oxygen in fuel tanks and thus prevents combustion. The FAA also strongly recommended that older Boeing 747s had their wiring updated. Number 1. U.S. Air Flight 427 on September 8, 1994, USA Flight 427 neared its destination at Pittsburgh International Airport. The Boeing 737 instead crashed at Hopewell Township, claiming the 132 lives on board. What ensued would go down as the National Transportation Safety Board's longest investigation ever, lasting nearly four and a half years. The NTSB ultimately placed the blame on a defective valve that caused the rudder to malfunction. According to former NTSB Chairman Jim Hall, Boeing invested almost $1 billion in upgrading the 737's rudders as a result. The crash also inspired loved ones of the victims to pursue the Aviation Disaster Family Assistance Act giving the NTSB primary federal responsibility for facilitating the recovery and identification of fatally injured passengers involved in a craft accident. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.